En UFC 211, el líder de las artes marciales mixtas regresa a Dallas, Texas, con dos peleas titulares. Campeones defensores nuevamente buscarán probar su temple. I'm a champ for a reason. Everyone wants my belt, so line up. When people get on bigger stage, they cannot handle that. Pero un par de contendientes brasileños surgió. I got just feel the stand. I believe. Sin miedo alguno de ponerse en medio del escenario más importante del deporte. I think the strawweight division has a new contender. Eu tô pronta. Tá na hora de disputar o cinturão. Eu mereço. I won the belt and I still can do a lot for this division, for this sport. That's why I am the challenger. En el evento principal, el título más prestigioso de todos los deportes de combate estará en juego. Oh, Stephen Miocic, el actual dueño del cinturón de los pesados de UFC. Se enfrentará al ex campeón Junior Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. That's one of the scariest guys in the heavyweight division. Quien por cierto también fue el último hombre en derrotarlo. Junior, Chicago. Definitely gonna be different the last fight. Let's go, let's go. Because I'm coming out on top, you know, walking out and still with the belt still wrapped on my waist. I'm very excited to be fighting against him again. I'll get that belt back. El coevento estelar de la noche nos traerá a la campeona peso paja de UFC, Joanna Jenjeche. This woman brings it. She is so fast, very quick. Quien buscará extender a cinco su racha de defensas titulares. One of the best strikers in the game, period. So ferocious inside the octagon. Contra la fuerte ex peso gallo, Jessica Andrade. Good, good. I don't stop. I work hard to make my dreams come true. Very good, very good. Put her away, put her away. She's not ready. Uma das duas vai cair. E quem cair vai ser ela, não vai ser eu não. I will shine in Dallas. Entra em las vidas de estos campeones y retadores. Mientras se preparan para levantar el oro de UFC en Texas. That's how champions train. <laughs> Esto es UFC 211. Countdown. Brasil ha producido algunos de los mejores peleadores del mundo. UFC champion. 12 hombres y mujeres diferentes han conseguido títulos de UFC usando esa bandera. Y tres han conseguido el honor más grande, el título de los pesos completos de UFC. En 2008, un Junior Dos Santos de 24 años debutó en UFC contra otro gran peso completo brasileño. Años antes de que cualquiera de ellos ganara el oro en esta promoción, Fabricio Verdún ya era un veterano curtido, que venía de propinar dos knockouts corridos en UFC. Pero Dos Santos había llegado y empezó a mostrar unas habilidades nunca antes vistas en la división de los pesados. Man, I'm faster than everybody. Oh, I'm the fastest heavyweight in the world. Dos Santos is correct. He is fast. I uh, also have knockout power. Oh, he, he got, got rocked. rocked. Dos Santos That's looking it. for That's the finish. It. He's out. It is all He's out. over. Wow. His hands here are heavy. <laughs> Junior Dos Santos is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Uno a uno, UFC puso ante él una fila de pesos completos. Y uno a uno, Dos Santos los noqueó a todos. Oh, he hurt him. In big trouble. Now, we have many, many guys today trying to, to fight on boxing or to say that they are good on boxing. But man, I'm the guy who brought the boxing skills for MMA. What great hands. Has tremendous hands. And to this day, I do that very well. Dos Santos, constant aggression. El fenómeno peso completo le mostró esto al mundo el 12 de noviembre de 2011. Noqueando al hasta entonces invicto campeón de los pesados, Caín Velázquez. Casi nueve millones de televidentes fueron testigos de cuando Dos Santos consiguió el título mundial. Y 
ese sigue siendo el combate de artes marciales mixtas más visto en la historia de la televisión americana. Y Dos Santos, quien ahora tiene un cinturón de UFC que haga juego con su electrizante estilo, se volvió una estrella de la noche a la mañana. Pero hoy, la distinción como campeón de los pesos completos de UFC recae en un norteamericano, quien también usó su premiada habilidad boxística para alcanzar la cima del deporte. Stephen Miocic continuó su carrera atlética colegial con un título de boxeo de guantes dorados en Cleveland, Ohio, antes de debutar en las artes marciales mixtas. Hoy, mientras se prepara para la segunda defensa de su título mundial de UFC, se mantiene enfocado en qué fue lo que lo trajo hasta aquí. Miocic ha hecho una carrera de elvanar rachas de victoria. Pasó los primeros tres años de carrera en UFC escalando posiciones en el escalafón de los pesados. Boxing, He's a student who really wants to perfect and reach his peak potential inside and out. You're going to have to have it all together to be able to beat him. Miocic derrotó a seis de sus primeros siete oponentes en UFC. Y en diciembre de 2014 se ganó la oportunidad de probar sus verdaderas habilidades ante un ex campeón. This is the big test, and tonight he must rise to the occasion against the most dangerous fighter he has ever faced, Junior Dos Santos. Both men possess one punch knockout power. Miocic taking it to Dos Santos here. You know, big boy is throwing leather, you don't see it all the time, and you know, we mean him with, with toe to toe. Miocic has to be very careful because Dos Santos can capitalize on very small openings with big shots. This guy was the toughest fight of my, my career, no doubt. Both guys breathing heavy. If you base things on damage, Miocic is winning this fight. That's huge, Mike. That is absolutely huge. Good right hand over the top by Miocic. Oh, good left, left, he hurt him, he hurt him. These guys have gone through a war. Junior's hurt. Beautiful job, just when you least expect it. We are headed to the fifth and final round. Wow. Our corners, they were screaming at us, you know. Look at me. How much you gone through for this fight? More than him. You've gone through more than him. Okay? This is your fight to win. They are on their feet here in Phoenix. What a great crowd tonight. Both men leaving it all in the octagon here. They go the distance. What a fight. What a war. Who has earned the victory? Dos Santos or Miocic? Junior, Junior Dos Santos se quedó con la victoria tras la que es considerada una de las mejores peleas de peso completo de todos los tiempos. Y en UFC 211, cuando el octágono regrese a Dallas, Texas, estarán de nuevo frente a frente. Solo que esta vez, el ganador saldrá campeón. It'll be different this time. You know, I know what to expect. I know what to do. For this time, people can expect something similar. I know how to win this fight, and I will. Hoy, Stephen Miocic es el tipo más malo del planeta. Pero para él, durante mucho tiempo residente del noreste de Ohio, sus logros en el combate son un testamento de cuán apretados son los lazos que unen a su grupo aquí en Strong Style, donde se ha sentido en casa desde el primer día cuando cruzó la puerta. Es un ambiente familiar, todos se aman a los otros. Las personas que tienen un ego, se encuentran su camino rápido. Dos rounds en, un round off. Así que solo rotate, todo el mundo se queda por dos rounds, toma uno off. Y vamos a ver cómo vamos a ver cómo vamos. Aquí es más que solo wanting to see your fighter win. All right, round one, you guys ready? 
I want to see my brother win. I want to see our family win. That's it, all that weight on that head. There's a lot of different places that bring in people who are already champions, or they recruit people who are already good. Under a minute. That's it. Now, we already knew Sipe was good, but he's somebody that came from the grassroots. He became the champion through this. Die. Nice. Both guys. Nacido y criado en esta zona de clase media baja, Miocic siempre encuentra tiempo para mostrarle apoyo a sus colegas campeones Cavaliers y compartir el clamor de una comunidad muy leal. Just going to these games and just watching, you know, how great they are and, and, and you know, how much they love this game and meeting fans and interacting with them and just, you know, they're show, showing support and means a lot to me. Oh, the glorious day. We tank here. Here goes in. Yep. Shoot. Reload. I'm so pumped. Here we go. Hoy es un mero espectador de sus locales Cavaliers dentro de la Quick and Loans Arena. Pero en septiembre del año pasado, todos los ojos estaban sobre Stipe Miocic, quien protagonizó UFC 203 bajo este mismo techo y buscaba defender su cinturón. Eighteen thousand people going crazy, you know, there for to watch you, support you. I get goosebumps thinking about it. Here we go. Overeem is four and zero since moving to Jackson Wink MMA. Oh my goodness! You know, one step one way and one step the other, and there you are lined up where you shouldn't be. Got the guillotine. His guillotine is nasty. The Ojin's in huge trouble. That was, you know, <laughs> not what I was expecting. Can he finish it right here, right now? Not anymore. And he's chasing over him down. He's still wobbly, though, Mike. He's on shaky legs. Wow. Sneak Bay on top. Alice is in all sorts of trouble here, Mike. He gave me an opening and landed three good shots on his chin. He's out. He's out. He wins at home. Knocked him out. Cold. And what a crazy first round that was. And what a victory for Cipe Miocci. Kiki, come on door. Can you play with the papai? Can you hear when you land down the papai? Can you come on, man? Tras su batalla estelar con Miocci en 2014, Hey, baby. Junior Dos Santos dejó su natal Brasil para asentarse en un lugar donde pudiera desarrollar su carrera y empezar una familia. His name is Bento. In Portuguese, Bento means blessed. Oh, my Dios, qué chonino. He's a little man, my little man. <laughs> America, man, America is a, a blessed place <laughs> in this world. And our son, he, he born here. Yes, amor. We have our family always here visiting us from Brazil, and it's good. It's me and him and now Bento, and we live very well here. Bento, my lindo, do papai tá onde? I have to share my time with him now. Not just training, not just thinking about the fight. Time to go, right, Bento? But I'm enjoying every part of this, and I feel blessed, as his name. <laughs> Como residente del sur de la Florida, Dos Santos se unió a la mayor colonia brasileña en los Estados Unidos. Quizás muchos son atraídos por el clima, parecido al de su hogar en Sudamérica. Pero otros vienen a pelear. El ex campeón es ahora miembro del mundialmente renombrado American Top Team. 
Isso é muito forte. No segundo dia eu tava fazendo essa desperdiçando só em cima da cabeça. Criança já tá nascendo andando daqui a pouco. Forte. El ATT es hogar de numerosos peleadores que se preparan para UFC 211, tales como el ligero Dustin Poirier, el welter Jorge Masvidal y la campeona de peso paja Joanna Jędrzejczyk. We have so many fighters, you know, and all of them are are chasing their dreams. That's why I'm here and all training, trying to bring the best of Junior dos Santos. Para ayudarle a sacar esa grandeza está un improbable veterano de UFC. Venga, Johnny, un minuto. Presta esa vida. Cuando usted sale aquí por atrás, se fez eso aquí, ¿no? ¿Quién sale para acá? La experiencia de Marcus Conan Silveira data de tan atrás como 1997. Cuando peleó con la leyenda de Pride, Kazushi Sakuraba, dos veces en una misma noche. Puxó, salió a bater, sale cruz, eso... Hoy, Conan coordina meticulosamente el régimen de entrenamiento de los mejores peleadores del ATT. And it doesn't matter what situation comes, it doesn't matter how the fights go. Watch, watch, watch. Junior's going to be prepared. He is the owner of one of the best heavyweight resumes in UFC history. El tiempo invertido por Dos Santos en el American Top Team ha rendido dividendos. Como lo demostró en su última salida, la victoria en un evento principal contra Ben Rothwell en Croacia. All right, so with four straight wins, Ben Rothwell has declared war on the heavyweight division. Heavy leather being exchanged here in the pocket. I went back to the old Junior Dos Santos, you know, using my boxing skills. But Dos Santos did a really nice job, jab and move. So I said, no, man, I, I can fight for the title. Huge shot for Dos Santos. You can see the fruits of his labor at American Top Team. La victoria de Dos Santos ante Rodwell de mereció una revancha contra Stephen Miocic en UFC 211 en Dallas, Texas. Esta vez, por el cinturón de los pesos completos de UFC. He's going to show more tools than he showed before. And I think that's going to be the difference. It's going to be another great victory in my life. And I'm working hard for that. I, I have no doubt that I'm going to get that belt. El campeón del peso completo de UFC, Stipe Miocic, siempre ha llamado a Cleveland su hogar. Y la ciudad premió su lealtad de ofreciéndole una mirada exclusiva a una de sus más grandes atracciones. ¿Qué fue esto? Después de ti, esto es el hall. ¡Wow! El hall de la fama del rock and roll. Esto es Steven Tyler. Lo sabía, lo sabía y lo sabía. ¡Oh, qué bonito! Esto es de la sincronicidad video. John Vellante would totally rock that. Sí. Yes, you would. Uno de nuestros amigos, you know yeah. this guy, I know. Y... These are the lyrics to Highway to Hell. Oh, wow. From ACDC. No way. So what we got here? This is um, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, well, yeah. This was like completely customized for him. Yeah. It weighs like 35 pounds. It's heavy. incredible. Yeah, hold this class, but don't Oh, God, I'm just dropped it. Don't get a party of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> this, is, this is so cool. Rock and roll is not just four skinny guys with long hair and guitars. Yeah. Blues, soul singers, singer songwriters, hip hop, rap, dance music, all the same. Awesome. That's awesome. How'd you get that? Flash. He sent us his personal Guns N' Roses pinball machine. It actually has a song that's only on the pinball machine. When yeah. something happens, it plays the song. Yeah. And every now and then, we even let visitors play it. We'll preserve that forever here and share it with rock and roll fans. God damn, that was that's awesome. Cars are from U2. Yeah. Uh, the plane is from Pink Floyd. Dallas, Texas, UFC 211. The world's heavyweight champion of the UFC, Steve Amiocic, taking on Junior Dos Santos. You're not the biggest trash talker in the world, and I find that to be admirable and completely different from all the guys in the UFC that feel like their mouths yeah. have to do the talking. That's too exhausting for me. Think about what I'm going to say and try to hurt someone's feelings or whatever. I, uh, I'd rather just fight. I'm not going to be there to make friends. I'm going to be there to win. It doesn't mean outside of the cage we need to be trash talking all the time. That's not my style. 
I believe that's not the style of Steve Miocic. Here we go! He gave you an L, and you only have two of these on your record ever. How great is it for you to be able to make good on that fight that many people thought you won the first time? I'm just itching to get in there, man, ready to, ready to fight. And a big right hand by Stipe, and again. I'm not giving this thing up. I worked too hard, sacrificed too much. You know, he's a great guy and everything, but business. It is personal. Oh, good left left. He heard him. He heard him. You know, people say, oh, it's business. No, 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 no. It's personal. I'm trying to take what you have. I want to take your reputation. I want to take your place. Stipe Miocic looks spectacular, Mike. The second time around with Junior, what do you expect to see? I don't really want me to tell you. I'm smashing and walk out of there and go home with the belt again. <laughs> there is no better match inside of the heavyweight division. Just missed that right hand, too. Oh, man. Striking guys going against each other. Heavy guys hitting hard. Man, that's going to be awesome. Both men leaving it all in the octagon here. Big shots landed by Miocic. I'm a different fighter since last time we fought, and he knows that. Oh, don't you? Oh, my God. That's so fast. Oh, my God. Junior Dos Santos is going to become the champion of the world again. Joanna is a beast, man. She has an eye, like great stamina great pressure all the time. She's mean. And also she's mean. Look at me the person. That's how champions train. <laughs> That's how champions work out. La campeona de peso paja de UFC, Joanna Janjacek, es parte del grupo de peleadoras que competirán en UFC 211 que hacen sus campamentos de entrenamiento con el American Top Team. Pero Janjacek es única en el sentido de que ella ya era campeona mundial invicta de UFC cuando llegó por primera vez a Coconut Creek. Jane, he's gonna work jab, work a defense and combination. Boxing kick, okay? Su racha se inició hace más de dos años, en marzo de 2015, cuando enfrentó a la campeona inaugural de la categoría Carla Esparza. Oh, beautiful right hand. Just constant punishment by Young Jacek. They could stop this fight, and it's starting to get ugly. Joanna, Young Jacek is the new UFC Women's Strawweight Champion. Oh. Young Jacek ganó el cinturón enfáticamente y nunca volvió a mirar atrás. This sport is very difficult. That is enough. You know, people ask me so many times, what keeps me going? So tense, so focused, so driven, and so ferocious inside the octagon. It's my goal to keep on defending my title. I want to be the best in the world. I want to retire as undefeated champion. Oh, beautiful front kick to the face. That is a scary woman, Mike. Oh, hard right hand by the champion. Still! This woman brings it. All she wants to be is champion. Oh, man. Flush right hand landed by the champ. And now Gedalia just oh. eats punches left and right. One of the best strikers in the game, period, has bolted to superstardom. All day, champ. Don't rush. Don't rush. Siempre en busca de formas de mejorar su juego. La mejor peleadora de Polonia dejó los confines de su hogar europeo para reinstalarse en el sur de la Florida el pasado septiembre, pocas semanas antes de la pelea más grande de su vida. So we are set here inside Madison Square Garden and the entire nation of Poland will be laser focused on this marquee matchup. It's hard, you know, I mean, she's never left her country, did all her fight camps, but she's done a good job making herself at home. Carolina Kovalkiewicz, her last loss in an amateur fight against the woman she would love to defeat tonight, Joanna Jacek. She is easily one of the most dominant and terrifying champions in MMA today. Right there, beautiful combination. Yes, give me a set up, big set up, use that block, nice. Every time Carolina gets in range, Joanna's been tagging her. And breaking her down with leg kicks, that's number 20. 
want is some sharper, more effective. This is starting to run away. It's not as if Karolina Kovacavich is incapable. It's just a matter of if she can find that opening. Just constant attack. Move, slide away, counter, bam. Oh, she can attack! She can attack hard! Kovacavich moving forward! Got her pressed up against the octagon. Again, she delivers. Oh, and she just got head kicked. Lock her hands. Hang heavy. Hang heavy. Look at this. Yana's trying to take her down. Finish on top. Finish on top. What a crazy fight this is turning out to be. Let's get her heart rate down. I got you. Two. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. So let's move the feet, Chad. Hey, we got hit with the right hand, so we got to keep our hands high. By far the most damage we have ever seen the champion take. We had one scare, of course. With that one shot, we got ourselves a fight here. Which made people think that fight was kind of closer than it really was. Good combination there by Young Jae Chen. A one-sided domination. Kick on the break. Besides the, that one strike. Elbow, left hand. Another good flurry. Excellent shot. And then another kick. Poland's finest go the distance. And they put on quite a show. I'm confident. The AFC 205 was a big exam for me, my new coaches, and we did amazing. You know why I stay a champion? Because I'm humble every day. I work hard every day. I'm very focused, and I'm very hard for myself. I challenge myself every day, and that's why I, I still a champion. <laughs> La cuarta defensa titular y decimotercera victoria consecutiva de John Jacek fue la primera con sus nuevos entrenadores y compañeros de entrenamiento. Tras cinco asaltos bajo su cinturón, el equipo tiene ahora la fórmula para mantener intacto el récord invicto de su campeona. Y buscarán probarlo en UFC 211. Now we can start adding some new tricks, new techniques, and some new weapons. I believe that I can stay undefeated with American Top Team. La próxima retadora al título peso paja de John Jacek es la feroz brasileña Jessica Andrade, quien encontró las artes marciales tras crecer en el campo, en la granja de su familia. Meu primeiro contato, na verdade, com a arte marcial foi uma aula de judô que teve no colégio. Eu estava terminando o terceiro ano, né? colegial. Aí fiz essa aula, o professor gostou, perguntou pra mim, você já lutou alguma coisa assim? Eu falei assim, não, nunca fiz nada. Tinha finalizado todos os meninos na aula. Andrade começou então o jiu-jitsu brasileiro e para o ano 2011 já estava competindo profissionalmente em las artes marciales mixtas. Deixou a granja familiar e se mudou ao município playero de Niterói, em Rio de Janeiro donde podría tener una inmersión total en las artes marciales mixtas. Hoy a gente tiene el mayor equipo femenino de mujeres, né, que es la PRVT Girls, y cada una de ellas tiene un, un pedacito que es esencial para mi entrenamiento. Y mi head coach, né, el maestro Paraná, tiene cuidado muy bien de mí. Né. Cuando ella entró en la equipo, ella era una niña que salía agarrando de cualquier jeito. Hoy ella troca, hoy ella agarra. O amadurecimento dela é constante. Peleando com frequência, Andrade começou a acumular vitórias até o ano 2013, quando aceitou um combate estelar. Um que provaria ser o momento crucial de sua carreira contra Milana Dudieva, em la distante Rússia. Essa luta eu fui como zebra, né? Ela era a favorita, estava vindo de oito vitórias seguidas, quase com o contrato do UFC na mão. Vencendo de mim, ela ia entrar no UFC. Na minha oportunidade de chegar lá e fazer tudo certo. Como se esperava, o UFC se deu por enterado. Mas seria Andrade e não Dudieva quem receberia a chamada para subir ao grande escenário. Se convirtió em a primeira brasileira em entrar ao octágono, aonde trajo seu agressivo estilo à divisão das 135 libras. Agora, com a oportunidade de pelear por o título das 115 libras, segue sendo a segunda favorita, mas não teria podido ser de outra forma. Isso é o mais gostoso de você entrar como zebra, né? Porque todo mundo te vai e quando você sai, aí você sai aplaudido no final. Isso aí não tem, não tem preço, é muito gratificante. Isso, gente!
Cuando la retadora al título peso paja de UFC Jessica Andrade empezó a entrenar en las artes marciales mixtas, no había divisiones femeninas en UFC. Pero hoy, las mujeres son parte integral del marco de esta promoción. Mucha gente no fala, ¿no? Mas el UFC es el único empleo que trata a mujer de igual con el hombre. Do mesmo jeito, eles tratam do mesmo jeito porque são profissionais do mesmo jeito. E hoje eu vejo que as mulheres estão buscando isso, estão querendo mais como profissão. E isso aí você vê como que a arte marcial tem evoluído. Uma vez a cabeça para um lado, uma vez a cabeça para o outro. Ô Jéssica. Já o UFC ha organizado combates em quatro divisões de peso femininas distintas. E quando lançou sua divisão de peso paja de 115 libras em dezembro de 2013. Andrade se dio cuenta, pero la pequeña peso paja era renuente a mudarse de clase de peso demasiado rápido. Yo siempre gusté de comer mucho, entonces cuando luchaba en la categoría de 61, yo tenía que hacer sauna, tenía que hacer bañera, y ahí tuvimos 10 meses, ¿no? Y ahí fuimos bajando peso, haciendo eh, dieta, ahí hice unas luchas no 55 de submission, de jiu-jitsu, para ver cómo que yo iba a estar. Y yo falei, caramba, la fuerza continúa la misma, mejoré el gas, pues acho que va a dar certo. Y ahí apareció la luta con Jessica Penny. Her first seven fights inside the octagon at 135 pounds. She's going to move down to fight at 115 against former title challenger Jessica Panay. Very strong, physically gifted fighter. This is a tank. Man, relentless Joe. Oh, she hurt her. She hurt her in the body. Trying to finish it right here, right now. Stop the fight. Jessica on drugs wins her UFC strawweight debut. I'm very strong. And then I levantava the girls like a big plume. Boom, big takedown by Andrade. I said, no, it can't be so light. 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 It is all over. Less than a year after his debut in the peso paja, Andrade encabezó the cartelera of UFC the fin de semana del Super Bowl. Y se encaró con la campeona de peso paja de Invicta. Nice combination there, tough kill. Hill shows some improvements in her technique, but also her ability to take damage. She's eating some heavy, heavy shots that she continues to hear. That's a strong woman. Oh, they're slugging away! Whoa! Andrade just fearless, man, just entering that pocket. Unbelievable. Oh! Body shot then upstairs goes Andrade. Esa luta con Angela. Provou, né? E não só para mim, mas para todos, que eu sim eu estou pronta para lutar e fazer essa disputa de cinturão para Joana. Andrade continua a throw haymakers. What a fight! Jessica Pacheco está atrás. Quando Jessica Andrade busca ser a melhor em o que faz, toma inspiração de quem são melhores em o seu. A principios de los 90, el vecino de Brasil al sur, Uruguay, creó una versión del fútbol soccer bajo techo conocida como futsal. Y desde entonces Andrade tuvo el privilegio de conocer a una de las mayores glorias que haya producido ese deporte. Yo estoy sabiendo que se jugaba futsal, ¿verdad? Jugaba. En la época que yo era más nueva, jugaba bastante, inclusive un tiempo atrás. ¿Será que ella jugaba bien, Falcón? Entonces, ahí está, ¿no? Falar una cosa. Ahora, ¿cómo se comprobar? Voy a tomar mucha caliente. ¿Qué está ahí esperando aquí? Caramba. Caramba. Para mim é uma referência, né? Na época que eu era mais nova, eu jogava futebol. É um campeão, né? Sempre me mostrou desde quando ele era criança que ele era um campeão, que ele podia ser o melhor. Do UFC, embora o Zé Aldo já tenha falado, ou outros tenham falado, eu sou um dos, mas ela me colocar como principal me deixa muito feliz. Al sur del lugar de entrenamiento de Joanna John Jacek en Coconut Creek está el condado de Miami-Dade cuya localidad insular de Kibis Kane sirve de anfitrión a uno de los más importantes eventos del tenis mundial. I was happy that I could go to Miami Open, uh, meet Venus Williams. 
she's tough. I think she could be a good fighter. Good luck, huh? I hope that one day I'm going to be that big in martial arts as they are in female tennis. Hi, Angela. Uh, nice to meet you. Hi, it's my first time, so remember. Really? Okay, okay, yeah, good. Okay, okay, so it. easy like with the child. No worry. I'm happy to be here, play a little bit with uh, Dominika. It was really nice to meet her. She's Slovakian, so we are like uh, Slovakian sisters. Do you need a sparring partner? <laughs> I really must learn how to play tennis. My fiance does, he knows how to play, so definitely you must teach me. <laughs> so we had like tennis sparring, now we're gonna spar. Yeah. <laughs> left, oh, okay. left. Yeah, left. Right, left, right. Oh, not in, just not in one time. Because <laughs> when you say left, right, sometimes people go like this. Yeah. But you you okay. can do this. That's cool, you go. Thank you. Mientras John Jaycek ciertamente disfruta del estilo de vida que ser campeona hace posible, ella nunca olvida la creciente línea de retadoras que espera para tomar todo lo que ella tiene. The strawy division is definitely one of the strongest divisions in the UFC. My opponents don't sleep and they train hard every day to get my title. There is no easy fight. This is a once in a lifetime moment for each one of these challenges. You have to expect that you're going to get the absolute best version of that opponent when you're the champ. Good defense, good defense, good defense. Stay tight, stay tight. Bad position, there you go. Physical. All the pressure's on her. She's going for her fifth in a row, defending her title. And she wants to dominate. Por cada contendiente que Jen Jacek despacha. Complete domination. Otras nuevas siguen emergiendo. La siguiente en la lista es de la más reciente importación de la división, la ex peso paja Jessica Andrade. Jessica, I'm judged by submission. <laughs> I expect a tough fight from Jessica and I hope she will be ready for the real champion. I will be ready for everything. Very good, very good. Put her away, put her away. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Time, time. Para Joanna John Jacek, quien es una de los únicos dos campeones invictos de UFC, la perfección es su única opción. Ahora, la estrella polaca se enfoca más en su desempeño físico, junto a un grupo de apoyo cuyo apodo calza con sus expectativas, Perfecting Athletes. What we're doing on Joanna today is just facial cupping. We're doing it just to kind of open up her sinuses so that she can breathe and have a really good training. Anything that we can do naturally and just let the body kind of feel better and work better on its own, we try. It works and it really helps, so uh, I'm happy. I see benefits, you know, mm -hmm. I can feel it. I start working with perfecting athletes, uh, with such a great ladies, Michelle, who is a doctor, Paulina, who is nutritionist. The plate is smaller. But it makes it look like you have more food. Yes. <laughs> so you feel better about it. This is why I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm flat. You ain't because you're not. Paulina, she's a friend of mine, but she is also my assistant here in Florida. We talk a lot every morning about how I feel. You riding your bike? Yeah. I think you can. I think it's good. She always puts some good words on my water bottles. Every champion was once a contender that refused to give up. I'm the champ. So all day, every time she sees that, she'll read it to herself. It makes me more, more, more violent because sometimes we need to be more violent or more intense during the training. I'm receiving uh, fan mates from all of the world, so they all can send it to, ship it to American Top Team in Coconut Creek and I sign all of them every day. I was so skinny on this picture, you know, because uh, I didn't work with perfecting at least that, that time, so I used to, but really, I'm not kidding, I used to starving myself to, to get uh, to 115, so I was on way, I was on weight like two, three days before the fight, and now I know I can, I can cut my weight more healthy way, so that's the most important, and I don't look like a dry sausages, you know. Alright guys. One of the first things you need to know is we do have life jackets below the seat. But we're not going to need them because I don't like walking. Welcome to Florida, guys. Woo! 
Mientras John Jacek perfecciona su preparación para el combate con las personas e instalaciones disponibles en su ciudad adoptiva, también aprovecha las maravillas naturales que pueden verse por aquí. Most of the female fighters they go to the uh, hairdressers, but I like to go out sometimes. In Florida, it's like different world, you know. Like I saw alligators, or I saw other animals. Adventures, so definitely airboat was the thing, uh, what I wanted to see, what I wanted to do, and I'm happy that, uh, that uh, my friends can see me enjoying this. Cuando la recreación llega a su fin, el American Top Team reanuda el campamento de entrenamiento para el campeonato. Long straight punches, you know, and really her biggest threat. El entrenador principal, Mike Brown, quien también fue una vez campeón, puede ver cuando sus combatientes están listos, pero es mejor sacudirse el polvo y sentirlo. Es un whole different feeling cuando you're en there moving around. I think it's important and you know I'll do that as long as I'm healthy enough to do it. El equipo se siente hoy más listo que nunca para enfrentar a una digna retadora y ex compañera de entrenamiento, Jessica Andrade. I know Jessica for a long time. We used to have the same manager. Ela me elogiou, falou que eu era muito forte e eu consegui quedar. E o queixo dela é é fraco. A Claudinha conseguiu dar um knockdown nela com jab. Pô, se a Claudinha com jab deu um knockdown, imagina direto meu, vai quebrar o queixo dela todinho. She's just at the top of her game, Joe. Physically, mentally, her confidence at an all-time high. Push, push. Good. Yeah. Jessica can say whatever she wants to say. Boom! Perfect placement. And you want it just opening up, right and left. She will have to handle the real Joanna. Man, nothing is stopping Andrade. Minha força de vontade de vencer eu acho que vai ser maior e eu vou dar meu máximo ali. Eu não vou deixar ela, ela tirar a minha oportunidade. Yeah, use that length. Use your length. En UFC 211, John Jacek regresará a la ciudad donde ganó su cinturón por primera vez. Y su meta sigue siendo la misma de esa noche de marzo de 2015. Pero no lo hará sola. John Jacek estará acompañada de un ejército de peleadores del ATT. Incluido el retador al título de los pesos completos, Junior Dos Santos. When you have American top team fighter, he's going to be all worn. Just get ready for the show. Dos Santos busca repetir la historia. Oh, big uppercut. Y derrotar al campeón de los pesos completos, Steve Miocic, nuevamente. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Y volver a ceñirse el cinturón que una vez poseyó. Eso. Everything's going to be ready. I'll be 100% prepared to go there and take that belt. What a fight. What a war. JDS is a great former champion. Uh, the difference is I'm the champion and it's going to stay that way. There is no doubt this is the time. Come on, come on, come on. Who's stopping you? No one. Let's go. Come on. It's not just about me. It's about my wife, my family, my friends, my coaches. I'm going to win. There's no question. Wow. That's about as definitive as it gets.